G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die, and welcome back for another morning in the Mega City series. We're still down in the desert, still looking for some better tools to make ourselves a better horde base. Rock and iron stuff at the moment, it's not really tickling me in any way that I really enjoy. I need some steel tools, and I need them relatively quickly. The sun is about to come up though, so it's about to get a little bit safer out and about on the town. I think that construction site there, I was thinking about it overnight, I think that construction site there is my best option for potentially finding the tools that I need. The working stiffs didn't work out for me, but that might be where to go. But overnight, while I was mulling about my plans, I also set about finally putting in my spiral staircase. It's a little... <laughs> it's a little bit blocked up by my uh, my land claim block there. I'm going to have to try and move that at some point. But I now have some spirally goodness going on in my house. And to be honest, <laughs> I'm not sure I like it. It looks really cool, but it's kind of annoying to have to climb up. The ladder does the job just fine. I don't know. Now that I have it, I'm not sure that I want it. Turns out the secret to getting it put in was using the, like, these things, the spiral pillar. It kind of sits in the middle of the stairs. You can see it's kind of glitching out there, having a bit of a time. But that's in there to actually support the frames. I don't know why it doesn't work in the first place, but I figured it out in the end. Oh, well, it's there now. May as well just live with it for a little while and see how we go. Let's go jump on the old pedal machine and get cracking. One, two, three, four, five, six... Lock you in like that. I'll chuck those repair kits away, actually, before I get cracking. Got to make sure I have all the inventory space for all of the loot. It is a beautiful morning with the sun just glinting through the leaves over there. Always get that nice, warm, fuzzy feeling first thing for the day before I go and make terrible decisions and usually get myself in some sort of strife. That's where I'm going. It's a new kind of construction site. I haven't been to this one before, but my record with construction sites is not particularly great to start with. So I doubt this one's going to be much more than a real shot in the face. I'll grab a little bit of wood so I can make myself a chest or something if I need to. And try and figure out what the best way to get into this place is going to be. Grab out the crossbow. We're going stealthy, boys. Where, where, Where's the way in, though? How do I get into this joint? Oh, I see. I was going to say, I came all the way around to the back. And yes, I know with my super springy kneecaps that I now have, tier two parkour is way too good for that. I could just hop the fence, but I've got to try and take it the right way because otherwise I'm going to miss a whole bunch of good loot. I'll grab you really quick while I'm sliding past. Cheese knackers. Head back out to the front where I'm pretty sure the proper entryway was. Oh, that's a feral. Just aim a little bit to the up above the sternum just to get you stopped before I can stab you in the chin. No use going, oh god, no use going toe to toe with a feral with just me knife to start with. Because I will lose that fight. Oh, speaking of fights, they're all coming out today. Oh, that's another feral though. Alright, well, normally I don't set a mass and there's a lot of mass to aim for with you. Get you sat down, then finish you off. Come on, there we go, there we go. Anyone else? Nah, we're looking okay. This is completely off topic, but I've just got new roller wheels for my chair. So instead of having like the normal desk chair wheels, they're like rollerblade wheels, which was a great decision. Except now that I'm like, I'm moving around in my chair so much more and I was sliding away from where my desk is. I need to try and stop that as much as I can. Uh, I don't need either of you, actually. I'll scrap you and throw away the blood bag. Check the loo for any... Well, I was going to say any remnants, but I don't think I actually want to find any remnants in there, depending on what you had for dinner last night. Oh, easy. <laughs> I thought you died then for a second. I murdered your friend and I thought you died in sympathy. But nah, you just got your webbed feet all crossed over. Take both of you. Cheers, big ears. Check for anything else around the joints. Not really. I think I... Ooh, yeah, I'll take you. I think I still need like a grill. And recipes are always good. So always on the lookout. There's a cooking pot there everywhere these days. I'll take you and just scrap you because I don't need you at all. What I did need was the workbench and I've now got that. Cheeky snack along the way as well. Did I just like nick someone's lunch though? Was anyone up here that's waiting for me? Open up that. No, no one hiding. Oh, okay. Yes, someone hiding. They were hiding up. You cheeky galah. No one ever looks up. It's like you're hiding in a tree from a predator. Bonzo, mate, got to level up just from raiding the cabinet tree. Jeez, if I could get a level up every time I went to the snack drawer, I'd have lots of levels in my real life right now. Maybe I could have some parkour skills as well. Not sure how that, that's how that works, though. Uh, one skill point to spend. 
got it in Lucky Looter, which I adore. What else is around that I could use? No, I mean, there's nothing really here. I need another level of strength to get anything good out of that one. Oh, also, that does remind me. I've been putting points into uh, light armor, thinking that it would give me better protection. Turns out it does, at least according to the comments, it doesn't. So all those points might have been mooted. Although eventually I do want to make myself some military armor when they will come in handy. It's got to be... Mm, either one of these, surely. I reckon Hidden Strike, just getting some extra damage on the bow, would be sick as a pineapple. Plus, if I do get close enough to stab someone with the knife, it's going to basically uh, decapitate them in one go. I don't really have a plan for where I'm spending my skill points. Just kind of getting one and spending wherever it tickles me at the time. I really need to start planning ahead. There's some more purple dye. I promised I would grab that the next time I saw ya. Scrap the shoes and chuck the purple dye in me jacket. You were very generous to donate your purpley goodness to my bike when I needed it, but now you can get it back again. I'm just gonna see you're a whale on it. I don't, I've only got one lockpick. I can't just like <laughs> potentially try pick it and snap my lucky last one. Doesn't take too long to beat into it, but yet another example of why I need those steel tools. Last stroke. Oh, nope. Second last. I lied. Made a fool out of me, but that's not really hard to do. Check inside you. Scrap you for the iron. Old cash is basically worthless, so I'll just throw you away. Can't even use you as kindling. Do I make the jump or do I use this as a ramp? It's always kind of the question. Like, where does the game want me to go? Where am I going to get the best gubbins from? But I think that's a different POI, so I'll just scoot along this way. Ooh. I mean, that's very tempting. I could almost make that jump without my sweet parkour skills. That's exceedingly tempting. Look at the gubbins that it's tempted me over there with. But I know better. The game only offers me things like that when it wants to give me a good old solid rogerin. So if I take that bait, it might be the last thing that I do. But I might still do it anyway. Oh, there you are. You're not really what I was expecting. I was thinking there would be like some sort of pelican up here, some sort of welcome wagon, given I'm rocking over and showing up with cups of tea and snacks for everyone. And a bottle of fine whiskey as well, apparently, but no one cared about that. Quickly, murder you. Well, if I'm going to kill the guardian, I may as well take the loot. I think, I was going to say, I think there might be a couple of them still around, but not too much to worry about. Give you a cheeky stab. Lots of cheeky stabs then. Who else is here? Just you. <laughs> That's so good. Them ragdolling. That's a feral too, actually. Not for long. Them ragdolling out of their hiding places always just makes me giggle because it makes my life so much easier. I'm going to mark this as a uh, hardened chest so I know to come back here later when I have my lockpicking candy. What else do we have? Mm, take both of you. Don't need the goo bag. What's in the ammo pile? Shock horror. Some uh, ammo. I'll scrap you for the iron. I'll turn those into bolts, which means I might need to harvest the feathers out of old mate Flappy Fuck over there. Mm, take you. Don't need these, though. They can just go away. It still feels weird throwing away parts, but <laughs> I don't have any other use for them. Piss that off. Turn those into bolts. It does feel cheap coming over and just taking the loot without raiding the POI, but it was sitting there on a silver platter. That's like a good old slice of camembert going to waste. Check the bookstore box first for blade trap schematic. Fair enough. Working stiffs. Motor tool parts. I have some at home, but I'll take those with me as well. Don't need another goo bag. That's going to have to wait for another day. All right. Back from whence we came like nothing bloody happened and continue on our journey. I'm still nervous about this place, though. I'm nervous about construction sites. I have so many bad memories. I'm so hesitant to trust. There was a couple of dudes down here that needed to be dispatched, but with my sweet knife skills, I'm decapping everyone who comes my way. Check the desk. I was hoping for some goggles. Remember like a million years ago when I was desperately looking for the agility goggles and never bloody found them? Well, that trend is continuing, apparently. And that door goes back in... Hang on. If I break you down, does that take me back into the uh, the building next door? It looks like it does, but I wouldn't mind having a cheeky escape route if I can manage it. Open up the wood. Come on, stamina. Stay with me. I know you're playing with some shafts, but you can't get knackered that quickly. 
Yeah, that's right back into the kitchen, into the first room of the old POI. So they do definitely go together. Good just to like make double sure of that. When I come to new POIs like this, I like exploring it and figuring out how it thinks and how it works. So the next time I come here, I kind of know what I'm doing. Got another purple dye out of the lockers. As much as I love the piss stain goggles, I'm gonna dye them purple instead. It's the last thing that needs to get done. Boy, that is a um <laughs> <laughs> that is a sight. That's a, a whole lot of purple going on there, and I'm not upset about it at all. No one in the roof this time. I remembered to look up. Check your corners. No one in this little death alley either. I did just hear something, though. Is there someone waiting for me outside? This extra large jump is definitely a good thing, though. No, it's all looking nice and quiet. I'm just really paranoid. Oh, there's a deer out there and his friend Mo as well. You guys like <laughs> on some grand adventures like Milo and Otis, but it's Mo and Bambi. Oh, oh, all right. Apparently you didn't like me ogling your friends out there. Were you the camera crew and you annoyed that I ruined your shot? Oh, yep, there we go. I was going to say there's someone else out here. I was just admiring the wildlife. I was out here filming documentaries. You guys are ruining my time. This was the door that I found when I first got here. Oh, shit. Couple of boxes. Um, I was going to say, as much as I enjoy stabbing, kind of felt like whipping out the old pea shooter and just showing you what's what. Turns out to be a pretty bang up job of it as well. Every once, oh, good day, bud. Every once in a while, I do manage to get a nice clean headshot. But it doesn't happen that often. That is a feral, though, so he definitely needs to get tickled just that bit. Nice. Where's your dear friend, though? I can't have you guys being separated. I'll send it to the afterlife together. Although your little, oh, there he is. Your little hooved friend. You're going to have to follow along a little bit afterwards. Too high. Too high, Josh. There's no drop on the bolts. Oh, apparently he heard the missed shot because he's called in the fuzz. Right about there. Missed it. All right, fine. Listen, you take two shots at it and you miss both of them. You don't deserve to get the kill anymore. Easy. Right about there. Oh, good pills. So I can hit him. Although, in fairness, if I miss him, I'd question if I could even hit the building he's standing in front of. All right, nothing to lose your head about there, Chief. Calm your bloody farm. These construction site boxes don't seem to give me much. Trigger plates might come in handy later on down the deck, but I'm not sure how I can utilize them just now. Anyone in here? No, all not. Ooh. Maybe not all nice and quiet. I thought I saw like a little bit of a breeze coming through the side of that crack there, but nah, it's all good. It's all solid concrete. Making our way up to the next level. Get the crossbow back out again in case there's any shenanigans to be had. Um, <laughs> all right. Sure. <laughs> Making a gurgle across the way. He knows I already stole all these looty gubs at the end of it. Now he's just trying to get retribution. Oh, this is my chance. This is my chance to get some knifey, knifey even stealth damage. 6.5 times damage on what? On a power stroke is 30. So, well, it's like 180 something damage a pop. Oh, he woke up though. That's not too shabby. That's okay. Anyone else around? A knife has a thirst for zombie blood. Up. Yep. Oh, that's a soldier boy too. Come on down so I can superman that hoe. Nice. Nice. Oh, bit of lag, bit of dead, bit of guts, bit of murder. I like that it's kind of opening up a little bit. It means I get more of an opportunity to use my crossbow skills or lack thereof than panicking in a very close quarter situation and probably stuffing up my stabs. There. Finally, finally got the shot that I wanted. I'll get out there and harvest you up in a little bit. Give Mo a cuddle when you get there. And I was going to say, anyone up here? Definitely is. Right to the back of your... Oh, God, he's got a friend. Don't get cocky, Josh. You may be able to knock some Muppets down, but there's always backup hiding in the corners. Stuff like this is the stuff that makes it a little bit harder with my super duper jump because now I have to worry about smearing my face against the wall up there. Just trying to run across the gap instead. Anyone up here? Oh, yep, there's one there. Nice and quiet. <laughs> I need to remember to re reload my crossbow. That was a feral four and a half times. This is what I mean. Like the stealth damage buff is so much better than just the bow damage one. If I wanted to make myself a better bow, that's all it would ever really come in handy for. Anyone else up here? Did you have any buds? Yep, there's one. That was a regular, but he did drop me some gubbins. What about you? 
Another regular, but nothing in your pockets. Nice, that was nice, nice, easy, clean, clear. Now that we're getting closer and closer to the top of this place, I'm gonna roll with the AK out just in case things get a little bit dicey, a little bit faster than I'm ready for. Another cement mix. I have been breaking down all of the workstations along the way, so I have a fair amount of forged iron on me. Oh shit! Oh, yep, things got dicey much quicker than I wanted them to. Pelican, fuck off, please. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do about all these other idiots now because I don't know where they're coming for me from. Let's get back to over here so I hopefully might give them a path to me. <laughs> I mean, sure, that works, I guess, is what I tumble down like Skittles into my mouth on a lovely day. Finish it off. Come on, frame rate, stay with me. It's hard to aim when I can't see dicks. Speaking of dicks, where the hell do those dickheads go? Here we go. Now they're coming up. I've already hit you a little bit, so you sh should be pretty much dead. Oh, yep. There's a bunch on the ladder outside. Not your best move, but hey, you do you, I suppose. Oh, they're coming in through the windows and the walls as well. Someone call little John. No, nope, no. Nope. Skymo. Bad Skymo. Stop Skymo. Oh, boy. That was, that's why I wanted to roll with the AK. I had a gut feeling something bad was coming my way. And I was damn well right about that. Now that everyone up here should be nice and dead. Ooh, there's a locked crate for me. Again, I don't have the lock piece. I'm going to have to mark that down with the one next door so I can come back for it all another time. Now yeah, we'll use, we'll use power strokes for this one. Why not? All the way down. Finish it off like that. Mm, anything else around that might be a bit exciting? I did see... Before I get all the looty stuff, I did see this that I suppose is actually the way down rather than like a door to open to escape. That's like the escape route. Okay, that's fine. Well, we'll see what we got. Any of you bad boys want to give me some lockpicks? I'd super duper appreciate it. Nope, just some more aloe cream, as always. Search the lab equipment box first. What have you got for me? I'll take the steroids. Herbal antibiotics is a good thing to get most days anyway. Another wheel, some more repair kits. Thank you, I appreciate that. And, ooh. See, this is the thing. In my mind, the 44 Magnum is completely and utterly worthless. It's worse than a pistol in every way. Yes, it does more damage per shot, but only got six rounds in the chamber, and the reload time is astronomical, so... Probably not. Uh, do anything else out of here? I can probably ditch something. Some stuff. Don't need nine stones. Don't need three leather. Don't need one headlights. And I'll eat you just to free up a little bit of space for the last little bit of loot. Weapons bag. What's in you? Mm, I'll take robotics parts. I'll throw away the steel sledgey stuff. And then there's you. And you are strong as dicks. Dang, I need lockpicks. I need lockpicks. I need more lockpicking candy. There's surely got to be stuff up there, right? You can't have this big looming crane over the top of everything and not put something cool at the top of it. Drink you. Skirt around on the girders. Up we go. Nope, just a chair. And, oh, trying to bonk your noggin, please. Oh, oh, easy, easy. I'm scared. I'm scared of jumping and getting thrown off the side. Is there really nothing here? Nothing at all. Maybe a, a sneaky stash of lockpicks. Nope, just some stones. I mean, it's a good view up here, though. Oh, I might just sit down and have some lunch. Well, in that case, given that I am very much chock-a-block on all that looty goodness, let's get out of here, jump back on my bike and... Where's my bike? At the front, that's right. And get home again. Go and drop off all the things that I just found. Free up my inventory for another raid. It's only quarter past three, so not really late in the day at all. Plus, home's right there anyway. So my quest for tools continues. My loot stage actually isn't too shabby. I should be getting better stuff. It's 60 just on the streets, so more in a decent POI. I would have thought I would have found something by now. I do have those uh, jailbreaker candies there, so I could potentially... Well, I've still got the hardened chest in my house. I've got one there and another one at the top as well, which I didn't actually mark, which I should have. I think the... Oh, jeez, now I'm trying to remember which POI it actually was. I think it was that one there. We'll go there as well. And we'll go another hardened up the top of them. So there's two there to be gotten side by side. I was right in the middle, wasn't it? I've marked you in the wrong place. That was silly of me. Get rid of you and chuck you about there, I think it was. I know it doesn't seem like it makes that much of a difference, but trust me, future Josh will be a muppet and forget where it was. So there's three hardened chests there. I've got 10 minutes on the looting candy. 
If I find one more that's locked up, I think I'll be ready to go for it, but not just yet. Where else can I go? Where else is going to give me good gubbins? Oi, dickheads, where can I find a tool shop? I reckon a pretty safe bet of just finding another hardened chest, because now they're going to be using a lockpicking candy. May as well go looking for something like that. I reckon that building there has hardened chest written all over it. So we'll go and grab that. I'm definitely going to get rid of this spiral staircase, though. I got it, I tried it, and I just used the ladder anyway. So it's kind of just taking up space for no bleeding reason. Hey, buddy boy, excuse me. I just need to clear the neighborhood right quick. Can't have you Muppets trundling about in my front yard. I'm not going to bother bringing my bike over for this. I think this is the one that has... Oh, it's the rent -a car place. I thought for a second it might have been with, like, the sneaky garage that has actually some pretty good stuff in it. But I think it's a bit different. Skymo, just hold there for a tick, bud. Thank you. You were a feral as well. So it's good to get rid of you and make my city just that little bit safer. Just doing the world a favor, you know? Sure, most of the world are already zombies. But I'm trying my best. I think this one's entryway. Yeah, here we go. Is just around the back. It's like, this is a weird... Ooh. Just started raining outside. I think it just definitely got a lot dimmer. Oh, I do remember having quite the battle in this doorway, though. So we'll keep our eyes on a swivel like a bloody chameleon. Hello? Oh, that looks like a zombie just there. And it was too. Shot you right through the base of the spine. Wasn't very subtle. Like a brick in the small of your back. Anyone else? No, we're good. It's like a weird combination between express rating and stealth rating. I want to go as quickly as I can, but I still want to take advantage of my super duper stealth skills. Oh, come on. I was stealthing. I mean, I know I only have one point in stealth, but I should be doing a better job than that. Oh, yep. Here comes a bunch of clowns. Oh, there's an extra clown. Claim down with your gigantic feet and slap me around with it. Easy. Headshot, easy. Headshot, and... I mean, it was a headshot. It was four headshots in a row. Quit while you're ahead, because you're not going to follow that up with any better shooting. That was the pinnacle of your aiming abilities, Josh. Bask in its glory while you still can. Someone is mad at me down there, but I think he's outside, so it's going to take a little while for him to get through the walls. I think there's one on the roof in here. Yep, there we go. Oh, there was two on the roof up there. Oh, that was a... Feral. Not that you'd know, because his eyes are currently on different sides of the room. Get spanked. Get absolutely rogered. You thought you had me on toast, but I battered you up like a crumpet. Still going as quick as we can. Quick at this dispatch. You. There might be some others. I was going to try and push on through and... Oh, I was going to say get my bolt back, but now old mate potato took her to his flapping grave. There you are. Oh, there's a car puller. Okay, well... Ooh, I thought that was a headshot. I don't know if I can kill someone clean with a headshot with my crossbow like I can with the pistol. I can if I spatter him, though. Man, there's some brain stem oozing out of your friend's ears. Hit him with enough velocity to go up his nose. Easy. There we go. There we go. Sacrificed a couple of bolts for some peace and serenity like we've moved out to Bonnie Doon. Always check the weapons bags on the way through. I mean, handgun parts aren't bad. I do need them for the inevitability that I do want to make myself an SMG or a Dolter or something. I don't have the Volta recipe already, do I? No, I definitely don't. SMG, definitely don't there either. I can put it on a turret, but I can't put one in my hands, apparently. All right, fair enough then. I'm pretty sure there's some more for me up on the roof, but I'll get there in a moment. Hey, bud, want to play some hallway song with your friend's head? You go that end, I'll go this end. First one to get through someone's legs wins. Uh-oh. Uh, that's going to trap me on the stairs, so I'm just going to not take any chances and put around right through your forehead. I mean, it's the size of the airfield in freaking Fast and Furious. How could I miss? I wouldn't put the challenge past me because I am a shit shot most of the time. That's locked, and I'm still kind of trapped in here. Okay, okay, I was going to quickly go back from whence I came, back up through here, up to there, and just get up to the roof a different way. Like that. Oh, almost like that. My hopping skills almost got me there. Come on, there we go. Just really, like, tick that off before I get distracted by other things. My frame rate is pretty gooey, so there's probably a lot of zombies around here somewhere, checking all the trash for lockpicks, not finding any. My loot stage is at 74, so it's a pretty decent increase on the normal stuff. So it should be relatively hard POI. No one here. Oh, yep, someone here. Arlene. Catch you later. The knife is starting to come into its own. 
Nope, don't need you, but I'll read you anyway. Like, I'm still pining to get my hands on a Shetty. Shetty's gonna be a game changer, but for the moment, the purple knife doing good things for me. Oh, that's a problem. Wait for it. Can you stick your noggin through again for me, please? No, not quite. All right, listen, if you're gonna be that insistent, I'm gonna have to meet you with an AK. Come on, look at ya. Look at you, you big jellyfish. Causing a ruckus in a bloody library. I will put on some big black room specs. I already have them. Does that give me permission to shush you? Cause fucking shh. There we go. A Sammy the Sledge schematic. I'll take you. I did also find, um, what was it again? It was the Sham Chowder recipe, I think it was. Yeah, I did. So I got the Sham Chowder recipe as well, which is good. The little library has worked out well for me. Uh, what's the- Oh, pile of books there. I almost missed with nothing in you, as always. All right, up we go. Check that bog. Now I'll take the milk water. I'll take the piss water. Never know when someone might show up on your doorstep asking for a sample. Having a jar of someone else's piss can't go wrong. Try to be as sneaky as possible. It is eight pick. Oh shit. It is eight o'clock as well. So I should really think about maybe making some tracks towards home. I just need to get to the end of it though. If I can find the last locked chest in here, then there's four in a row I can get on one loot and candy, which is just a really good time. All of you. Oh, I do need you for my uh, my grill back at home. Well, my second home, my uh, my town hall home. I hear footsteps. I see Muppets. That's all good. I'm behind bulletproof glass, so you can moan and groan. All oh, get damn well, please. No one's going to back you up. I can't tell what that is. I don't think it's a zombie, but it kind of looks like a weapons bag as well, but there's no weapons bag. Oh, it is a zombie. All right, it was a ScoMo. Sorry, bud. It looks like a trash bag. Although, in fairness, now that, you're <laughs> now that you're standing up, you're not looking that much better. Come on. Come on. Oh, no. 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 Stop crouching, Josh, for goodness sake. Use your fingers like you're supposed to. Oh, I'm trapped. I'm trapped by cash registers. Give you a tickle. Come on. Put your money with your mouth is. Nice. Nice. Bonds are my level. I've got a skill point to spend, which I think is going to go to from the shadows, given I'm waking everybody up half the time. You had a real rough go of it. You thought you had me pegged, and I sliced out your esophagus. Yeah, it was this place. Look, another hardened chest just then. So we've got an hour to clear the rest of the building, which is probably a little bit bold of me. I'm not sure I'm actually going to be able to do it, but we'll try. Barrels and some friends. Like Johnson and friends without the hot water bottle. Sit you down. Specking into the pistol was definitely a good idea. Some of the other things, less so, but pistols. Apps are bleeding loot. Oh, apps are bleeding fucking lootly. Lock picks, thank you very much. We've gone full express nitro raid now. Just get through because we're out of time. We're up to the last little bit. So should just be a couple of zombies left around here. That's not a zombie, that's a body, but there's probably, yeah, I was gonna say probably one hanging out in there. That's a feral. Gotcha. Sit you down. Finish you off with a nice clean headshot and deal with your friend behind a projector screen as well. Don't know how you guys got caught and zombified in them. Maybe we're just having an end of the world cuddle party. You know what? You deserve to die then. As if you didn't invite me to your super cool cuddle party. Rude. We've made it out onto the roof. That's the way I'm supposed to go. I'll quickly check out this way though. At this point, I'm going to be doing the final battle at night time anyway so i may as well just make sure the rest of the joint is clear and i've gotten all that i can no more lockpicks out of you that's a bit of a shame but i will deal with it deal with the disappointment as best i can all right if i just like if i suppose if i get close enough and i like, spawn in the zombies and things won't get much worse than they would be already mm, can i go with my sweet super duper jumpy skills hop over to them yeah oh all right, that's a problem. Don't wake up with a really loud glass break, but I will just quickly murder you because I do not want to have to deal with your water balloon shits. Uh, anyone else in there? Probably is. Jump around. No, those are your legs, <laughs> not hot dogs. Calm down, Josh. Oh. oh, I'm on a ladder. I was really confused what I was hanging on to there. Oh, God. I thought I did that quietly enough. Wait to get out past the mysteriously bulletproof glass. <laughs> uh, well, okay, that's a slight problem. So is my shooting, apparently. Good God, Josh, that was dog shit. That was utterly woeful. 
Uh, what's my best play here? I reckon just wait till they open it up and then a hose for all that is good and glory. Mmm, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm nervous about this. At least I'm gonna bail out the window there and you know, get the drop on them and I kind of run around a little bit. Come on, come on. Open up for me, this is so tense. Here we go, it's almost open. I'm trying not to uh, use aim down the side because I don't want to use all my stamina. Just trying to kill these idiots. So we're going to hope that firing from the hip is going to work for us. G'day, Stripper Titties. How you doing? This is a lot. This is a lot. Come on. Come on. I'm armed up and ready. Decent. Decent. Missed you, though. Shooting let me down as it usually does. Oh, we're fine. Oh, we're fine. Put your trust in AK, and AK will have your back. I knew I loved those initials. This is a whole other reason to. Just gonna grab this server box while I'm here. See what you're hiding for me. Anything good? Iron tool schematic, which weirdly doesn't include the wrench anymore, which I only found out the other day, much to my chagrin, but now we can craft our own hammer, which actually means I can probably make myself a new workbench for this base as well. That's a lot of yell on outside. Can you guys just cool your jets a little bit, please? There's a lot of monsters outside right now. I don't need you guys calling them in. There is just so much happening right now. Also, I've forgotten if that's a landmine there or not. I'm not going to tempt my fate any more than I already have. The bulletproof glass is going to have to hold. Don't need steel sledgy parts. Come on. Come on. What have you got for me? Just some mechanicals. Okay, give it a nice wide berth. So I'm going to have to come... I was going to do it tonight, but now that the world is pretty mad at me, I may just shelve that idea till tomorrow morning. Yeah, oh God. All right, time to actually get involved then. Stab you, stab you and your toe. I'm going to call you Achilles. Sorry, spider boy, you're going to have to wait. Oh, there's a couple of you as well. All right, that's fun. Just like... Oh, oh, hey, hey, none of that. That's rude. Apparently, we now just have like a walk-up chaos for zombie murder, like a suicide booth in Futurama, but it's me with a knife rather than a machine that Bender got up to some pretty sketchy shit with. But all that robotic stuff aside, okay, I've got a little bit of a gap. What have you got for me? Check the medical supplies, just some four bites, which I actually very rarely use and probably should use more often. Open up both of you. Recipe, some gas, and another wheel. Got more wheels than I know what to do with. Throw that away. Another wheel again. And I'll have to come back for you. So I've got one, two, three, four. Four hardened chests that need me to get inside it. I reckon that's about as good a time as any to do it. Let's open that up. Make sure my AK is ready for it. Anyone outside? Yep, a Nance and a Loz. Done. Done, done, done. God, it's good having some decent weaponry for a change. Oh, copy boy knows where I am and he is upset about it. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Want to come and join me in my sweet garage? I'm going to make sure you run in the nice... Oh, no, that's not a copper. Make sure you run in the nice straight line for me. Duck to your left. No, no, no. Bad. Stop that shit. Do you see all the explosives around? Can't have your vomiting kebabs over all my valuable shits. Nice. All right. Anyone else? <laughs> Night times are scary, dude. Oh, I guess, like, the bonus here is that... Fucking all right, then. The bonus here is that at least, like, I know the town is relatively clean. Maybe I do have the opportunity to go and grab all those chests then, because everyone else has come to die already. I just realized that it's already after midnight, so I might just save looting those four hardened chests for first thing tomorrow morning. It's not a necessary risk. You know, we're at the end of the day, end of the episode. We can do all that first thing tomorrow, then go and find somewhere else to raid as well. I've already got lockpicking candy as well. Where else is looking good though? Where else looks like it might give me what I'm after? There's so many options out here, but none of them are screaming steel tools. And that's all I really want. I know it may seem like a tad bit wasteful, but I do want to have myself a, um, uh, a workbench at this base as well as the other one. Like the forges and stuff, they can stay at the main one, but just a way to craft some better stuff would be pretty handy. Or to leave things crafting while I go out and faff about the town for a while. Uh, what do I need to make myself? a wrench, some duct tape and mechanical parts. I'm short on glue at the moment. I turned it all into duct tape to turn them all into a repair kit, which was short-sighted of me, but that should shock nobody. Uh, mechanical parts are the thing I need. So that's you. What about a hammer? Wood, leather, duct tape. So I need the wood and the leather. Okay. And then after that, I think that's all I need for it. 
Forge side mechanical parts. Yeah, okay. So I just need to make myself some glue and we're right. I'm going to leave that fire cooking away. I'm also going to get rid of this. I'm going to get rid of my spiral staircase. It was a nice experiment. We had to see if it was going to work for us. It did, but... Not in like a functional way, just an aesthetic way. If it was only one spin, it'd probably be more bearable. But as it is, just like, I don't know. I'm just never using it, so there's no point having it there. Plus, it gives, if zombies do make it up here, it gives them a route to get to me. I'm just going to hang out up here, though, and wait for my glue to be done. And then come back, open up all those chests, and see what else we can find in this godforsaken town in the next episode. Because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.